Hello everybody, it's Scott Omato and I'm going to do a quick video here on how to back up mod packs in the Twitch launcher. It's actually a very useful feature and I'll expand upon it a little bit in the future. But for right now, I just want to get the basic concept out there. It's, it's pretty obvious if you're familiar with the Twitch launcher, if you've made your own mod packs, how it works. But let's say that, you know, you've I've made this mod pack here, immersive tech or whatever, and I just want to back it up, right? I just want to have a backup of it, uh, you know, clear it out of my launcher or whatever. Okay, I, I, I'm done with it at the moment, whatever. I just want to make a backup of it or I, or I just want some files or maybe I want to give it to somebody. Maybe I want to say, hey, you know, you want to test out my mod pack here or let's play together. You know, there's ways to do that now without having a server where you can share uh, connections and stuff like that. I do like a point to point kind of play. But anyway, all right, so here's the thing. So basically all you do is you just choose export profile. Okay, export the profile. It's the same thing you would do if you were gonna make your own mod pack that you'd upload to Carson. And that's where the the technology of Twitch is, is really good because it can make links to the online files without needing the mods themselves. So you just basically need to figure out which folders you would want to save, okay? Probably don't want crash reports, but maybe you do if there's some important information, but probably you don't downloads and this one's empty i'm not even sure which mod put that in there but that one's empty i don't need that journey map you're going to want because it's keep in mind this is like a mostly a personal backup but if you were going to share it with somebody maybe you'd want to show them the areas you already mapped in the world and have the waypoints and stuff like that all right then uh local i don't really need logs i don't really need mods yes uh, resource packs i don't have any in here but let's say you do and you could share the resource pack along that way and you're going to want your saves in this point of view you're going to want to do your save files because that's kind of the point of it so you're backing up the saves and then you're backing up all the mods that has it so if you had some schematics you'd want that scripts you're going to need because that's craft tweaker stuff so you've made it craft tweaker the log for craft tweaker you don't really need server resource packs you probably don't need just depending on who put it in there and if there's stuff in there. Options.txt, yes, that's gonna save your settings. If you had Optifine in here, then you'd wanna back up its options of.txt or whatever it is. User cache, you don't really care about. All right, so you can give it a package version, whatever you want, you can give it whatever name that you want, all right? But mainly the mod pack name. So then you just save it and it'll take you to this export folder uh, in the documents curse export, and then it'll export it out build the mod list export it nice so once that's done see none of the mods are saved so it's a pretty small file it's uh because i got saves it's really only as big as your saves are it's uh, 11 megs because you know i have some some saves in there but if you open it up you'll see that it is got a list but it doesn't have the actual mods now it does have mods in there that curse wouldn't have like see here's the emits thing that gets pulled down by Miss for forge if i had optifine in there it would be in here okay so stuff that is not on curse it will put it in this mods folder now of course when you submit a mod pack to curse you can't have those files in there uh unless they're on the approved list okay um maybe i'll do a video on the approved list too but you can't uh you know it doesn't matter for personal use. You can have whatever you want in there. That's fine. So see, it's got all your configs and then it's got your, all your journey map data for the, for the worlds that you've, you've done in there and then under single player, whatever worlds you've done. Um, then it has uh, the saves, which we, you know, we've already gone through and then the schematics if you wanted that. So and then it has a mod list and the HTML. So it's pretty small, just based upon your world save size. So, instead of backing up the world save it makes more sense just to back up the whole mod pack with with the saves okay now maybe at some point in the future this could have some problems with pulling down mods in the pack it's not extremely likely and you know or it's not common that it happens but uh, i've got a video on the channel about how to fix that if that does happen but anyway that's how you do it guys you back up your mod pack you could transfer that to a friend uh, let's see i have an extension on mac that'll show me the contents of it nice um but yeah you could share that with a friend or you could just keep 
it as the means to back up. So if you just wanted to go and import it into your um, your thing here, you just say create custom pack and then import, and then browse out to that folder, export, and find out which one you want, uh, the immersive tech right here, and then just add it and it'll go through, import it, get all the new files, make a new folder name, all that kind of stuff. So you can see it's going through, rebuilding your mods, three of 72, pulling them down, pulls over your saves, all that kind of stuff, guys. Really pretty, darn nice feature. And in some future videos, I'll show you some other things that you could do uh, with that. But anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. Let's just cancel, because I don't need it and it's all good. Uh, anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. This is Scott Omato. Thanks guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.